Hey everybody, happy Monday. Hey Jake. How's it going? Pretty good. Uh, we're here early on Monday because we are playing State of Decay 2. Uh, you've got to run in right here, Jake. Oh yeah. Uh, we're going to try to do some co-op too. You're getting set up at the moment. Yeah. Um, but I figure I could do like a supply run or two. Actually, i got to make sure to see what I've got. Uh, so yeah, we're playing on PC. We're both going to be playing on PC. You played a lot on... I haven't played this. Xbox One oh. X is what I've been playing it on. Okay, yeah, yeah. So this will be your first time playing PC. What do I have here? Ammo good. Maybe some pain meds. Uh, by the way, we are uh, looking at the chat, so we'll be checking that out, answering questions. We can talk about anything for the game except for, like, an official review. We can't give that yet. Um, that's not something we'd be giving anyway. I um, actually don't know who's working on the review for us. Uh, Alessandra Barbosa from oh, okay. South Africa. I forgot how to bring up my flashlight. I've been playing a different game <laughs> all weekend, and it's a different button to turn, you turn on your flashlight. Yeah, we've been playing a different uh, survival co-op game. But I remember I can hit E to bash zombies off the window. Oh, I just got out again. I don't want to do that. All right. We're going to clear an infestation here. So it says, please turn the motion blur off. <laughs> uh, I can definitely do that, I think. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of motion blur. Let me run this zombie over first. All right. Uh, somebody says, I dare you to play Cuphead and complete it again. Uh, that was Joey. <laughs> yeah, that's not Joey. Me. Joke's on you. I've never beaten Cuphead. <laughs> Resolution. Is it? Huh. Advanced video? Oh, this is it. Someone's asking if you can cut the grass to make your base look uh, tidy. I don't think you can. I don't think you can. There's certain, like, trash and rubble you can pick up. Is is there not? And put away, but it's very blur? much like... Oh, no, there definitely is motion blur. Keep going. Go up. Oh, my God. Is it in a regular video? Uh, I was just looking there. Just gamma display resolution V-Sync. Uh, HUD? Accessibility? Accessibility? <laughs> Can you really not turn it off? Subtitles, vibration. I doesn't seem like it. Wow. Okay. Well, that's uh, a bit weird. Maybe if I turn down the sensitivity, it won't be as bad. Maybe. Try we'll that. Give that a try. Uh, well, sorry about that. So let's ask when the game comes out. That would be next week, right? Yes. I think next Friday. Or wait, it's the it, it's it's weird because if you pre-order it, you get it early. I think you get it uh, the 18th if you pre-order it, and it's the 21st if you did not. Um, oh, get off my car! You're Just playing offline right now. Do you mind making it online? Yeah, we can do that. Uh, just set to friends only because we're friends, so I can just join. All right, I might have to quit to desktop or not quit to desktop. Go to desktop so I can invite you. Um, no, no, no. If you set to friends only, I can just join. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I got my car stuck while trying to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's going great. Okay. Yeah, here we go. I can, no, I, don't I should, be stuck, I should car. be able to attempt to join you. Oh, I ran out of gas. Dang it. Uh, someone wants to know, is this State Decay 1 or 2? This is State Decay 2. We're playing 2 right now. You know what I realized? I, the reason I forget the controls is because I've been playing on a gamepad at my desk, and I'm playing on uh, on mouse and oh, keyboard here. Yeah, actually, uh, I don't mind playing with a controller. I don't really play with mouse and keyboard. But that's okay. That's what I'm talking about. Um, someone's saying... Left control. Do you want a gamepad? Yes. Tay, I would love a gamepad. We would both yeah. like one. That would be great. Do I have gas on me? No, I don't uh, let's see. I missed a question. Down here. Is there motion blur on console? Hmm. I think there is. Uh, oh. Uh, Dino was asking, when in multiplayer with... Uh, Rucksacks for the guests, do they go to the host or back to the guest base? So you were saying they go back to they go back to the host they base. They go to the host base. So yeah, you can join a friend and say you collect like a bunch of resources. What? Just happened. You lose the game? Oh the game just crashed. 
Oh, rad. Cool. One good time, we'll go back to camera while you load that back up. Oh, thank you, Tay. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I don't know which one's which. Is there less blur on console? I have no idea. I remember there being about the same amount of blur. Uh, All right. Got a control now. Hopefully the game won't crash. Uh, is that your first time having the game crash? Yeah, actually it is. Okay. Yeah, I haven't had any of that happen. I have... Um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do that later. Uh, you can probably go back to gameplay. Uh, oh, yes. There we go. So... I should... I think I can just join you. Okay, let me, I might, yeah, it looks like my game is still friends only, yeah. Okay. It's actually not letting me join you. Um, you might have to invite me. Okay. In which case, I let will me get, get back to camera. Let me get back to my base. Right. <laughs> oh great, I just got here and the game crashed. Talk about bad timing. The game stamina. hasn't been too bad. We're going to try co-op. We have had issues with co-op uh, connectivity. The game isn't out yet, so, uh, you know. Yeah. I, I, I think they're going to have some day one patches, as pretty much every game does nowadays. But we have been having issues um, in the office when we've tried to connect. I wish I could sleep through the night. I don't like Me too. Night. I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, Tay says he's checked other streams and it looks like it's just kind of blurry like that. Um, oh, the motion blur? Yeah, it looks like that's Session not something error. to turn off. Okay, I'll invite you once I get inside. Uh, apparently Game Informer is playing co-op, so they're able to get it working. Uh, that's cool. Well, we've been well, able to get it working. Good for Game Informer. It's just, uh, <laughs> it'll like work for a bit and then eventually it'll just boot someone out randomly. We're going to try joining now. Uh, do you want me to cut... Yeah, you, why don't you do that, and then I'll... Here, yeah. That way we're not looking at stuff. Let's make that hot invite. Goatman invite. It's a party. J-Boy asks, what game is this? Stay at Decay 2. What an... All right, I got a notification. I do not care for. Um, uh, I didn't send it to you because it wouldn't let me. Oh, never mind. That was a different thing. So this isn't really an issue with State of K. This is more an issue with uh, Microsoft. I don't like their invite system. I know. For the PC, it's really clunky and cumbersome. Like, because it you have to like minimize it and open up this extra app it's so frustrating like i just want to be able to easily invite people and i i really feel like if they want to make option. their like pc stuff work uh they need to like redo it, all that because i just think the way they have it right now is bad i can only invite you to party i can't invite you to game that's weird well here let me uh Let's try this. Go, go back to game. Open up the menu. Okay. Guess. That's weird. So on Xbox, normally the guest thing, it actually has like an invite button. Is actually, not, you know what? Is that not on PC? So normally it is actually. There's like a thing here where I can invite, but it's not here. Maybe. Exit to main menu. Yeah, reload. Set, set it up. Because that's weird. Because normally there's a thing. Um, let's see. We got some questions here. People are asking where it was, what platform it's on, Xbox and PC. How does the campaign work with co-op saves? So it's more like pretty much just you, everything saved onto the host session. So as far as like, um, you can't do stuff like I want, uh, my friend to like we we can it's 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 like limited in the way like you can't like build a base together it's very much like the host base however 
you're not completely uh, missing out on any benefits. When you find, like, scraps and inventory and guns and stuff like that, that does carry over back to your, like, main save. So um, that's nice. It's not giving me the option to invite All anyone. All right, cool. I can quit the game, relaunch the game, maybe. All right. Let's do that. That's weird, because definitely before I had the option to invite people. Right, we were having no issues. Uh, um... The yeah, the inviting people wasn't a problem. Yeah, that was, was the, the issue we were having last week. We were having uh, <laughs> different issues. All right, let's try again then. Super Mario says, "I'm already subscribed to GameSpot. They're the best. Thank you, thank you." Mm. Uh, can we play Xbox One and PC crossplay? Yes, you can. We were actually doing that last week. Yeah, uh, that seems to work. Fine. Uh, other, you know, we were having the weird crashing issues, but that seemed more related to the servers than crossplay. Crossplay seemed to work uh, just fine, though. All right. Restarted the game. Don't let food get low. I know all my people are going to be pretty unhappy because I don't have a lot of food. So that should be what we should search for. Food. We're gonna have to move soon. This place is about done. Apparently, my. No. Still can't. Well, it's still creating a session ID. Oh, shoot. Okay, hold on. I just set it to do invite only again. Good invite only. Session error. But it's probably because I canceled it. Well, no, maybe that's why. We're getting like a weird... Here, you know what? I'm going to pop into my game. Yeah, I'm maybe see. see if yours works and I'm you can invite me. I'm wondering if we're getting a weird error. Yeah, we're getting like a weird session error here. Uh, someone's asking if this is similar to Mad Max, the game. Not really. Mad no. Max is more like a kind of like Ubisoft open world game. This is way more survival based. I'll kill some, kill some infected. Do that. My character looks like they're dying. What happened? Looks like your character is dying. Okay. Session error. Yeah. Not able to make an online session. I don't know hmm. what the issue is. Yep. Session error again. Yeah. No, no, no. I think we're having a weird issue where uh, session ID. Would it help if I brought in the Xbox? You can do that, Tay. You can try bringing in the Xbox. Um, you know, so what we'll do is I'll try and do some troubleshooting. Why don't we okay. just play the game otherwise? I will play. I will take out some infestations. Or Let's at least talk about uh, attempt to. Is this going to be Sea of Thieves all over again? No, <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so either. I had fun with Sea of Thieves. I had fun with Sea of Thieves too, but it's definitely not a game I've thought about since I was done having fun with it, though. Yeah, that game. That game um, was missing a lot of stuff. I think this game is more feature rich than that. This game's also not as expensive. Yeah, thirty bucks. Yeah, this game's thirty bucks. I think this game is priced appropriately for what it is. See, if these was a full priced game, right? Yep. And I think that is where it felt lacking in like the content it was for for the price it was. Someone says, "Just joined. I missed gameplay already." No, we were just trying to troubleshoot some stuff. Yeah, I literally just left my base for the first time because we were trying to get co-op to work. So right now we're just going to play on our own while we still figure it out. I do like driving at night, though, with the headlights. kind of cool. Uh, okay. uh, someone makes a good point in the Twitch chat saying it's, uh, it is a day one Xbox pass. Oh, yeah. So not quite day one, though. I think if you pre-order it, you'll get it three days early. Right, but... Uh, if you own Xbox Game Pass, you do get it. Yeah. You do get this game. So, uh, for is it for a limited time though, or do I, you? I don't know. I'm not 100 percent sure how Game Pass works. Because I know Sea of Thieves. I think you it, with Game Pass you could play for free for two weeks, and I think you had to pay. I don't know. I don't know how Game Pass 100 percent works, but I do like. I think while Microsoft is still lacking a like large list of exclusives i think they're kind of setting themselves up in a good way with game pass is like a pretty cool idea of hey you have game pass you're getting not only access to all these free older games but pretty much every new release so far yeah has had game pass at launch and that's nice because i think that just 
Um, I think that helps them out a lot. So I think that's a it seems at least like a good deal so far. But hey, you still need more games maybe to make it worth it for some people. <laughs> oh, sorry. All right. Oh man, that was a sneeze. Uh, I love holding the door open and bashing zombies as yeah. I drive by. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, that was on the first game. It continues to be good in this one. I, I think it actually, I mean, I think it doesn't do as much damage to your car if you do that, too. Right. So I think it's like. It's also fun in co-op because you just have four people all holding the doors out. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, this guy's up front. Get off the car. There we go. Oh, no. The car is smoking. So it says, what games uh, do people like you enjoy? Anything? I don't know if they're talking about us. They might be talking to someone else. Uh, <laughs> we can answer as if it were us. Sure. Uh. I don't know. I like all sorts of games. I'm pretty. I'm pretty open. To yeah, me too. The only genre I feel like I don't really play is sports or sports games, and even then there are some exceptions. Oh, hey, buddy. No. Should have got a buddy here. That's what I should have done. I might be screwed. Have you noticed there's a lot of zombies in their underwear in this game? I have it actually. Oh no, oh no, no, don't scream, don't scream, son of a gun. Stuck here reloading. not looking good now there's 11 holy cow and the throwing is so janky so an ass if this is a continued save yes how, how far were you in uh like probably 10 hours or so Ugh. oh my god the screamer Did I finish it? Cool. Finish that infestation. Someone says I like the dismemberment. Uh, yeah. I did dismemberment too. All it's right. not really that you. I mean, my car is not doing so it's, well it's here. It's funny. I'm thinking about a different game with dismemberment. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my brain's all scrambled. Let's see. Uh, screaming zombies at Coppet Killing Floor. I mean, uh, like Left 4 Dead is screaming zombies. That's just kind of a thing now. All right, I uh, should probably go back to base. Let's see. Some questions. Oh, God. This is a bad idea. Just a physical version oh of this game God. will come with a note section in the back of the booklet. That's a very specific question. I remember when games used to do that. Uh, I have no idea. We don't have physical copies. We have uh, codes. Does this game run 60 FPS? doesn't... I, I mean, it doesn't seem like it. I, well, I feel like it, it gets pretty, it can get close depending on what PC, what kind of PC you have. But on Xbox One X, I don't think so. Right. But I know it runs, as of now, it runs pretty poorly on the regular Xbox. Right. Um, I have, we haven't tried it on an S, which would run theoretically a tiny bit better. But, like, the launch at Xbox seemed really, really rough. Mike was talking about it. Yeah, he said it was... Not unplayable, but he said it was like starting to drive him insane after a while. Mm -hmm. um, but Xbox One X is pretty solid, isn't it? I mean, like, it is. Yeah, it's been fine. All things considered, it's solid. Yeah, it's still some weird hitches, like loading hitches. Yeah. Uh, sometimes when you're driving, it kind of like pauses for a second. Uh, are you guys enjoying this? Yeah, I've been enjoying this game. Yeah. I haven't got to put in, like, as much time as I've wanted to as far as, like, really, like, diving deep into the mechanics yeah. and systems. But I like what this game does. I like what it offers. If, if you don't like inventory management, though, this might be a tough one to get into because uh, there is a lot of it juggling between different inventories. 
making sure these characters have certain things. Uh, which, you know, depending on who you are, you might be okay with that. Right. But it does get old for me after a while. Same thing with the first, though. If you played the first, then you kind of know what you're getting into. It's uh, very similar. Tavis Peter says, is this on X or base Xbox, lads? We're actually playing on PC right now. Yeah, that's why it's running like butter. Uh, let's... Oh, get out of here. <laughs> this co-op looks very single. Yes, we've actually been having some weird issues trying to get co-op working. Uh, doesn't want to create a session ID right now. Hard to tell what the issue is. Uh, we were having issues with co-op last week. But it was a different issue. Could be this room. We have all sorts of weird uh, network issues with this room. So. Working on it. I got an Xbox One X here right now. I'm trying to set up, get this going. Alright, this guy's having some issues. We're How many survivors ahead. did you find so far? Uh, I found a lot. But I only have six in my group, though. Because uh, I need to find a, a bigger base. Right. Which I figure would be a good task to see if we can do uh today but i need food and meds real bad does anyone know if or when this game uh is coming to steam probably not because it's an xbox game uh, yeah no i don't i don't think it will be coming to steam uh hey i play pc games on controller yeah you can totally do that with this one that's what you're wondering uh one meds i definitely need to leave find a new place because these places are dry Man, I'm trying to think of... I just sent you an invite. Uh, okay, we can try yours then. Grab it. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> All right, let me uh, let me cut to... You know what? I'll cut to uh, my game. Cool. We're playing my game right now. This is running on the Xbox One X, for those of you wondering. So you can see the difference. Yeah. Uh, not as smooth, for sure. Doesn't seem like it's running at 60. Failed to join. Oh, no. Try inviting me again, maybe? Oh, man. Accept. Join. Come on. Ah, oh. Failed. Code 10. Man. What a bummer. All right, well, I think at this point we might have to give up on co-op then. Yeah, maybe we can try a little bit later. Yeah. All right, let's um, let's do his loads then. Let's go back to yours because I don't really even know what I'm doing in my save Mine's right back. Now. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing in my save either. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to get someone to come along with me. What do I have here? Uh, someone wants to know how do you set up outpost, uh, water outpost, and towers. Uh, So water outposts. You have to find an outpost that says that... Here, I have one, actually. Which one is it, though? Oh, it's this one right here. So, see, look. This is an outpost. Uh, I cleared it out, and it said water supply. So, if you do that, if you clear it out and make it an outpost, then this fills in. Those little uh, water symbols. That means that area of your base has water. The one I'm trying to get right now is a power plant. So, I have electricity. The reason this has electricity right now, the command center, mm -hmm. uh, I'll highlight over it is because I have a generator. So for one fuel, I can power it. Right. Um, but yeah, so right now my goal is to find a new shelter or a new uh, base and then um, per or have enough renown to get a power place. Dude, this guy always complains that I have too many supplies and wants me to give him my supplies. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. That's annoying. Okay, do we have car repair stuff? Yes, I do. Cool. Mm. Some bandages. Take some stuff to yeah, trade. Yeah, a lot of people are asking when it's coming out. Uh, it's coming out on the 22nd of May. So there's a new cloud over in the chat, which I sounds right, because I believe that would be the... Yeah, that would be next Tuesday. All right, we're going to go trade with some other... Cheddar Bob says, uh, the first game was a hidden gem that a lot of people didn't play. So good. Yeah, so that's kind of how I feel about the original game. I think it was like a, it came out right at the end of 
the 360s life cycle is an arcade game. And I think a lot of people didn't really play it, but it's a pretty cool like zombie survival sim game that was doing some really interesting stuff with like base management. And I think this game just sort of like continues that while adding more to it. So I think this game could be really great for people who like never had a chance to play that original. Yeah. And people who love that original and just want like more of that like an improved version i think you're gonna be pretty happy with this yeah one thing i really like about this is that it, instead of one map there are three different maps that you can pick from when you start um and then from there like so you can see these things in the corner so i researched how to leave these territories oh, so i can actually the other two. so i can go to other territories yeah Although I'm not sure if they're the same ones you get to pick when you start. I'm pretty I sure so, they are. because it one said Valley, and that's where I'm in. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I was pretty sure they are, but I wasn't entirely sure because I don't remember what those other places were called. Yeah, somebody asked how many other maps have we explored yet. You haven't explored a new one yet, but uh, we have each checked out a new one. So I picked the Valley. You picked, what was it called? Um, uh, oh, the Plateau. Plateau. And then Mike picked the Ready third work? one. So we've all kind of looked at them. They're mostly visual changes. There's not, like, it, it all seems to be, uh, like, has the same type of stuff in it. Yeah, I mean, but the the changes seem pretty diverse. Like, your map looks quite different from mine. It you does. can't really tell right now because it's dark, but... Uh... Yeah, yeah, can't wait till we get to day and you can kind of appreciate it. that. You were saying that earlier. It's kind of a bummer about this game. You can't really, like, wait the, the night Yeah, out. I don't know why I can't sleep. Like, that just seems kind of annoying because... You don't really want to do stuff in the dark. It's kind of a pain. Yeah. But here we are. Does State of K2 have a story? So... Kind of? The intro has a little bit of dialogue. You get to pick, like, a, a starting, like group of two people and they'll, they'll kind of have their own little backstory and they have their own unique dialogue in the tutorial once that tutorial ends that stuff kind of oh goes God. away and it becomes more um free form so i don't know if maybe there's a story that picks up a little bit later but uh it's not like a heavy story based game it's more about like the own personal story you create yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, like certain characters have kind of different plots not maybe not even plots but like different mission styles like once you pick your leader uh like a new set of missions opens up that basically have you interacting with other camps oh no i wanted to go the other way so like that's kind of cool and like the guy i started with there's like a story of him trying to find his aunt um but you can totally ignore it oh damn it i went the wrong way a while ago also the driving feels pretty good in this game I don't remember enjoying the driving this much in the first one. Nah, it was a little, it was a little janky. Ooh, uh, a zombie was in the air. Yeah, I've had nice. that happen a couple times. <laughs> but like being able to do things like this, yeah, it's pretty satisfying. That's pretty good. Master Jazz says, "I wish God of War was on Xbox and State of K Two was on PS4, but we don't live in that world." <laughs> Hell yeah, man! <laughs> Socialist gaming future. I'm all for it. How big is the map? Uh, pretty good size. I don't really have... Yeah, it's not massive, but like I said, there are three maps that you can pick from. So, like, you know, if you get tired of one, you can always pick new characters, load up to a new map. It basically, it's just a brand new scenario. Right, and, and I would say the map feels appropriate for the size. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so, too. This reminds me of Zombielands. Yeah, it doesn't have, like, a tongue-in-cheek attitude the way Holy Zombieland cow, does. Thought... Oh, you shot the zombie. Good call. What? I think it plays a little more straight than like something like Zombieland does, but although that'd be kind of interesting. Like, what if you uh, had to like set up your base like a theme park? That'd be pretty cool. There, there's like interesting potential uh, with like different ideas and scenarios. Okay, so the other thing we want to try to find. Tiny barn. We don't know what that has. We need to find a uh, a new camp, a new headquarters. Okay, you're gonna straight up attack. like change your 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 base. Yeah, I have to. It's, it's like so. This game does give you objectives, and it's one of the things. Uh, and all my people are complaining about it. They're like, "We need to move. We need more space. This isn't working." And the only other one I found, which I think is awesome, because it's like a rundown mall. I need eight people, and I've got six. So there's one I'm missing here that I need to. That's pretty good. 
to find. Someone says, how about you just show us the map appropriate and size sounds suspicious. Um, I mean, <laughs> there's I the map right there. Yeah, I, I don't, don't know, know what you mean by suspicious, but okay, there you go. Uh, yeah, see. I mean, like this, unlike you're not going to be like traversing back and forth between the map. Cons like you're going to stay relatively close to your outpost because um, it's hard to go on for a long time. Right. Uh, Richard asks, uh, why not just make it one big map? I imagine the reason so is because each map actually looks pretty different. Yeah, and it is kind of one big map in that you can travel to the other ones. Right. Yeah, you can travel to the other ones, but I think they wanted to make them diverse so that you have, like, three diverse-looking maps um, that they yeah. couldn't pull off if they were all together because it would look weird. All right, we're going to scout this Did town. you notice the State of Kayla go on your vehicle? Uh, yeah, I actually. did. That looks like one of our friends. Will it be available on Steam? Not that I'm aware of. Uh, I should get gas. Which places have you scavenged uh, has had food so far? I mean, it's pretty easy to... So everything you check has like a thing called potential resource you see at the top left there. That kind of lets you know what you can maybe get. And there's a little pizza icon that means food. So you can kind of check your map and, and it'll show you like potential resources. So it's easy to sort of figure out uh, where to go if you need something. There's also like an obvious thing of like, well, I can head to like the burger joint and they'll probably have food there. So yeah, you can I, kinda... do, I do like that aspect. Oh my god. Stupid zombie. Did you kill him? No. Uh, GameSpot saying there are other streamers not being able to do co-op right now, so it seems like it might just be a, a server issue. Oh, nothing found. I made a lot of noise. Can this game be played offline? Yes, we are playing offline right now. Yeah. We, we wanted to play co-op, but we can't. Um, Mega Ghost Child says, love you guys. I'm going to assume you're referring to us, and thank you. All right, my companion, hop in the vehicle. Let's get out of here. Oh, which way do we want to go? We want to go left, I think. Yeah, left. Oh, is that the zombie guy, you're, uh, underwear guy you were talking about? Yeah, there's a lot of them. It's like, was that the first thing he did when he started to turn? I guess you probably have a bad fever if you become Faydon's a zombie. asking if this is only on Xbox, uh, PC, and Xbox. So I want to know what's the favorite out of the group you have here. Yeah, what's your favorite character so far? Uh, I probably like um, this guy right now. I think his name is Kevin. I found a really cool character that I want to recruit, but I don't have enough uh, space to recruit another person. She had like a skull mask on, and I'm like, dang, mm -hmm. she'd be she'd be pretty good. Um, but yeah, I don't have enough. People ask about crossplay. Yes, it does. Somebody says hello from Turkey. I love you guys. Hello, thank you for joining. Wow, Turkey, that's cool. What time of day is it at Turkey right now? Uh, it's what eight hours ahead, I think. Eight or nine. Okay, it's about right. When does this come out? Or no, it's week? behind. Or I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm yeah, just something. Oh, oh, should I deal with this infestation? I don't want to. I don't want to. Can you do it? So I always feel like I need to bring another person. Oh, I have another person. Oh, you do. Me. Okay. Oh, another underwear guy. I told you, Jean Luc. You didn't believe me. There he is. Get him. All these survivors are going to hate me because I... Oh, God. We've got... Shoot. Other survivors trying to kill me. Someone's asking if you can do crossplay. Yes, you can. What if I get these survivors to help me deal with these zombies, even though they hate me? Hello, friend. Oh, jeez. Hey, you know what? You can't be too careful. You should uh, turn your flashlight on. I don't need to. I guess they're already dead. Oh, yeah. You better believe it. Yes. 
Uh, does the menus feel tedious to go through and navigate? Yes. Yeah, I. They unfortunately didn't feel like they, they really improved it. They did and they didn't. Yeah. Nice. We can kind of look at that in a second once uh, Jake's not dealing with like a horde. Oh no. Ah, uh, dude. Do you guys have any guns? Yes, and we're shooting them right now. There's another underwear one, John Luke. See, now that you've seen it, you won't be able to unsee it. Oh my God, you're right. All right, we just need to deal with two screamers, and we're good. Don't make me. There's one. Where is he? There he is. Nope. Some people are saying the release date is uh, May 17th. So yeah, that is if you pre-ordered. Um, I think you get it a little bit early. Yeah, honestly, the release for this, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, just because they. Uh, where are these other one? This other one. Microsoft's been doing that every with every game they've been doing, and it always it it just always makes me a little confused because I'm never quite sure when a game is coming out. And it's like, well, if you pre-ordered the hundred dollar edition, you get it four days early, and then it's like, oh, I have no idea what's going on. Yeah. Oh no. Oh man. Remind so, me later. So, so, so let's do an update. You know, the frame rate, frame rate might be better on PC, but don't have that pop up. You don't have that pop up. That's true. I already have minerals on my back or uh, junk. Oh, I'll put it in the A little in random, but someone says, I need Death Stranding gameplay. I think they've confirmed that they're going to show it at E3, haven't they? They confirmed that they will show Death Stranding, but I don't know about gameplay. I assume gameplay because I feel like they can't show, show another gameplay. trailer at they this point. They have to. Those trailers are fantastic, but I need to see what that game is it be a video game i need to see a controller in someone's hand my survivors need <laughs> food and i don't really care Daz feeder said lol i thought that was my pc that needed updates that's fine <laughs> uh gaming virus it's great that you're streaming fortnite please do not promote your own stuff on our stream thank you Also, Fortnite, dead game. <laughs> dead game. No one plays Fortnite. My girlfriend uh, didn't know Fortnite was free. So oh, really? She, well, she was asking me, because I just set her up with um, like a mic and stuff for, for, for gaming, because she has a new PC. She was like, I kind of want to try, because we were thinking, like, oh, we should no. try and find some games to play together. And she was like, I kind of want to try Fortnite. And I was like, oh, well, that's pretty easy. You just have to make an account. It's free. And she's like, wait, it's free? I was like, oh, yeah. And she's like, oh, my God, that explains everything. Because <laughs> she was just, like, so confused why it was, it was, like, she knew it was, you know, popular. But she's like, I don't get why it's the most popular game on the planet. And I'm like, oh, it's because it's free to play. All right, up in the car. Let's go. Let's go. Where are you, birdie? Oh, are you fighting them? Uh, Tay saying co-op might work. I can try another. I'm still getting session air, but I can try joining you. Yeah, I could try sending a hot invite. How are y'all playing the game early? Uh, we got some early codes. Please send. There we go. All right. Am I accepting? Oh, Come geez. on, pause. Oh, no! I can't. Ah! Here, let me just do it again. Let me... Yeah, you get, let you get, get to Let me get to the thing to save, because cleared out some infestations. I think it'll say. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll just do that so I can pause it safely. All right, I'm gonna send another one. All right. Hopefully this works. The fact that you keep getting that like, uh, session error. Same thing. Is weird. Hardwired in, right? Yes, I am. Yeah, you totally are. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to keep wasting time on it. Yeah, neither do I. We don't have another Xbox One with the game, right? Not that I'm aware of. No. Uh, it's on. It's installed on my Xbox, but it's the original Xbox. <laughs> we can see how bad it is. 
Yeah. So it's to say my name, please. No. Is that his name? No is his name? Uh, Jean-Luc, I'm confused. Mm, no. No one... You know what? You'll never know. Oh, no. <laughs> why? No, why? Uh, Tay wants to know if you wanted to try bringing the S in on your desk. We can. Um, you know Screw it. Why not? We're, we're already this transparent with how much of a, a mess trying to get co-op working is. If you want to <laughs> bring it in, just, I don't care. We're just here to hang out with you guys in the chat. I want to get on top of this tower first, though. Hey, chat, I got to say, love you guys. Um, if you could stop turning every time we stream an Xbox game into, like, a weird fanboy contest, that would be, like, really great. Because it's getting a little old. Yeah. We're just here to talk about the games and enjoy them. Not really interested in uh, weird, like, console war crap. Tay says, let's just not try it. <laughs> okay. We're I'm okay with that. House with the porch. So it looks like I've already been here, but I don't know. I'll look around. Potential resource, potential resource. Somebody says, uh, thinking I'm not paying attention to Twitch. I'm paying attention to Twitch. This is way more YouTube comments than Twitch comments. Sorry if I missed uh, something you were asking, though. Hey, strangers. Why don't Permanent. We see if there's a way we can help each other. This looks like it could be a good thing, right? Fire department? Heck yeah. yeah. Maybe you can slide down a pole. That'd be dope. Let's see. Papa now says love the game spot. Thank you. Cheddar Bob says, what happened to that new Dead Island game? Or part two, I think. Uh, Dead Island 2? Dead Island 2? They haven't canceled it yet. Really? Wow. The only thing I remember about that trailer is... Uh, so it's like the guy running, and he's like... Yeah, it's like doing cardio, and then he like turns into a zombie. And then a guy comes and kills him. And the guy who kills him sounds remarkably like Jack Black. But it turns out it wasn't Jack Black. I don't remember. And I remember everyone being like, is that Jack Black in this game? And everyone's like, no, it's actually not Jack Black. I remember the, uh, God, stamina is so annoying in this game. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here we go. Some drugs, that'll... Oh, where are you, my stupid teammate? Let's see. What's the best gun in the game? Uh... No idea. I haven't gotten too many guns yet. So far, I just have, like, sniper rifle, pistol, shotgun. I don't know if there is, like, necessarily a best gun in the... Oh, my God. Get off my right. car. So you need to do, like, a... If you do, like, a hard, like... Okay, that works, too. Um, whatever that happens, if I do... If you do, like, a run really fast and then do, like, a hard break... Yeah. Or, like, fall off and then I you can run over I just didn't have them. space. Yeah, fair. Someone says, turn your flashlight on, please. <laughs> yeah, maybe turn it on for the stream. Might be a little dark for them. All right. So the reason I've gotten used to not having my flashlight on because normally it glitches out. Like, for some reason in my game, it wasn't happening to you, but like, it like freaks out. Like a bunch of shadows jump in. Right. And it is I remember. I annoying. remember seeing that. So this definitely isn't a safe house. Uh, bummer. But I'll secure all the rooms anyway. Uh, potential resources. First aid, though. We yeah, need first people aid. are talking about Dead Island Two now. Uh, uh, yeah, so Dead Island in, in, in Dying Light are two different games. D Dying Light's more like a spiritual, like, successor to Dead Island, and actually really good. Like, there's part of me that's like, why well, make Dead Island 2 at this point? You should just make Dying Light 2, because uh, Dying Light is awesome. Well, it's not Techland making De Dead Island 2, right? I think it, well, I thought... Maybe it wasn't. Maybe at some point it was. I'm pretty sure it's not Techland. But, I'm pretty but it's sure. the same. It's the same, same publisher. publisher. Uh, Deep Silver. Yeah, it'd be interesting to know what happened with that. 
I can't find anything to search. Oh, there we go. Give me some medicine. So when does this game release for normies like us? Uh, it should be releasing on the 22nd. How many inventory spots and vehicles are there? Well, inventory spot depends on your backpack. I think eight is the biggest. I think they were talking about like in the trunk though. Uh, might once again, depends. I think it on depends the on the vehicle. I think it's like one time I want to say one I saw was like six. There you go, six. Yeah, I, I think I think six is the minimum, and then maybe I got a car get... that only had like three or four. Or something oh, really? Like that. Okay. Yeah. So, how powerful are the zombies? Do you want to avoid them? So. It's not that they're too powerful, it's that some of them can be quite dangerous. So This looks like it could be a safe house. This looks potential pretty, safe yes, house. This looks good. Yep, there's a gate right there. This is what we need. The the new thing in this game is these uh blood plague and there are, are plague zombies and if they bite your characters, they can get infected with the blood plague and you have to cure your characters otherwise your characters will die or you can euthanize them. <laughs> or you can euthanize them. Uh, exile them, all sorts of options. But if you don't deal with that, they will turn into a uh, blood zombie and then they will uh, infect your other guys. So that's kind of like the big worry. So when you're dealing with those zombies, and you can tell which ones they are because they have glowing red eyes, you got to be a little more cautious with them. Mm -hmm. But as far as difficulty, it's not like, you know, there hasn't been like boss zombies where it's like, oh, this one takes like a. a there, of hits. The the uh, the crawling one and like there's the juggernaut one that take quite a few hits. Um, oh, is that the same one from the first game? Like the really fat ones? Yeah. Well, okay. yeah. So there's that one, and then there's also this one that like runs around super quick. Oh, okay. Okay, gotta clear out some zombies, and then we found a new home. Hopefully, this will be better protected. Six. Geez, I'm really hoping for some mods to increase that amount. Um. I mean, I get that. I like, um, I don't know. I get that way sometimes, like Bethesda games, where it's like, ah, I'm just gonna mod it, so I don't have to worry about inventory space. Yeah. But you're over encumbered. Ugh. However, this game is very much designed around the in limited inventory, so I feel like you would maybe ruin the experience by doing that by modding it, so it wouldn't matter because it's kind of the point of this one. Total slot, cool. Yep. This is grill, kitchen, cool. Dude, this cool. seems like a winner do it oh wait i can only have f can wait only six of four. Oh, requires it's how many people it requires okay yeah i was gonna say you can only have four people that total be slots because you can build a bunch of uh, beds yeah so uh, yeah i just need four so it's a motion blur it's ugly can you turn it off we tried, we tried. didn't seem like we could which is actually kind of a bummer so what i'm hoping for with this place is that they can since we're in a uh since we're in a new place or in a in a fast food store, hopefully they can make food, so we're not. I'm not always constantly Starving. running out of food. Primary new town. neighbors demand. Clear, clear your uh, town of plague hearts. Do you have a plague heart you could try and take out? That'd be actually a cool thing to show off. Yeah, not with this character because he is on his last legs for now. Um. Yeah, Alessandro Barbosa uh, is in the chat who's reviewing this game for us, by the way. And he um, said, uh, wish there was a slider that adjusted the motion blur. It's really aggressive. Yeah, totally agree. When w Maybe he can answer when our review is supposed to go live. I think it's supposed to be it's Wednesday. Like Wednesday or Thursday. I think it's or Wednesday or Thursday. Like Wednesday or Thursday. He would probably know. Remnant wants to know what version of the game is this? Beta release. This is final release, and we're playing it on the PC. A nice addition is that that I just did right there. You can transfer stuff from your truck into your into your base, base automatically. You don't have to carry, carry it all. It. Yeah, that's really nice. Uh, okay, I'm liking this place so far. Let's see what we can let's see what we can work with here. Seating area clearable. We gotta clear that. Yeah, you should clear all that stuff. And then we've got more space here. Mm. Storage, let's do a garden. Build a staging area. Alessandro says Thursday. Thursday. So, so Thursday, okay. check back and we will have a review for you for this game. Small outdoor lot. Let's do an infirmary. And finally, maybe a workshop or we could do 
rain collector. No, we already have water supply. We don't need that. Build a watchtower. That might be a good idea. All right. All right, and then once they're done clearing that, we can build a workshop. Can you upgrade the vehicle? Yes, you can. Uh, you need a specific vehicle upgrade kit, which uh, I don't know if you've found any of those. Mm -mm. I haven't. No play. Oh, there's a play card over here. Just Should I do this mission, and then we can do the play card? That sounds pretty good to me. All right. Wait, I'm going to switch characters. Uh, Nobody's happy. We'll switch, to, we'll switch to my boy Kevin. Oh, I can't Joseph says hello, GameSpot. Hello. Uh, are you looking forward to the Xbox Two? Three sixty. Man, I hope they call it the Xbox <laughs> Two. <laughs> I hope they. I so hope they call it the Xbox We're Two. I'm really. I'm. I'm really curious to see how Microsoft. So here's the thing. Like, people talk about how Microsoft is doing really bad, and like compared to PlayStation, I know they are. Like they they um. I think they sold like half as much. Something came out recently as as the PlayStation. However, uh, interestingly enough, they're actually still selling really well. Like apparently they sold, like the Xbox on its own has sold better than like the 360 did. And a lot of devs are saying that like their sales numbers on the Xbox are still really high. So it's sort of like a relative like failure. Like they're not top dog anymore, but I don't think they're by any means um, yes. like falling behind like in terms of like they're in the red or anything at least that i'm aware of yeah we don't really know the full details obviously and they probably would never tell us but it doesn't seem like they're like they're like doomed to fail like or they're gonna like go away or anything so there's probably definitely gonna be another xbox and i'm curious to see how they could turn it around because you know uh happens all the time i remember playstation 3 beginning of playstation 3 sony was in a bad position wii u nintendo was in a bad position like it, it's a it's a, a secular cycle for sure i mean you remember like PS2 being top dog, Xbox mm -hmm. being, you know, it was kind of the same situation we have here. And then, yeah, like you said, 360 was top dog, PS3 was failing. Then they kind of turned that around. It just kind of goes in cycles, you know. Which is a little bit of a bummer because you definitely see people make a lot of the same mistakes. Uh, yeah, for sure. It's like the second, like, a console, like, becomes top dog, like, they get really cocky the next generation, and then they make a lot of mistakes. Yeah. And then everyone turns on them. And yeah. And then the, the other one gets to the top, then they get cocky. It's it's really, it's actually kind of funny. It's exactly, I mean, like, yeah, Xbox, <laughs> $500, and you have to have a connect to it, and now they're like, well, uh, actually. Which is the same thing Sony did with the PS3, PS3 where they're like, yeah. 600 bucks, doesn't matter. People love the PS2. Everyone's gonna buy it, and it's like everyone's like, "No, are you kidding?" Although I think by the end of the life cycle, the PS2 is on top, or the PS3. The PS3 did turn it around. They they turned it around really well. They dropped the price. They got that slim version out. They had um, they did PS Plus, yeah, which was like a huge thing. They had a ton of great exclusives. Like they actually, that's the one difference is that. I think by the end of that cycle, the PS3 actually had significantly turned itself around. Xbox One uh, hasn't done that the same way, which is a bummer. But we'll see. I, I think I'm hoping they have a lot to show the C3 now that they have their now that the X is finally out um, and they have the most powerful console in the market. I I'm hoping that come E3, they'll be like, hey, you know how you bought that console that was really expensive? Here's why you bought it. Here's why you bought it. Here's some rad stuff. I would like to. It's funny, the, the the thing that made me want to buy an X the most, I still haven't bought one. I still have a launch one. Um, is actually Red Dead Redemption uh, 4K backwards compatibility support. Yeah. That made me want to buy an, an X. Or at least, at the very least, like borrow one from the office for a weekend and bring it home and play it. Because, man, that looked good. <laughs> hey, this is perfect. So this side thing is a uh, heart. They want to take out a heart. Oh, perfect. Uh, so yeah, these guys here... With the red are the uh, plague zombies. You see uh, above our mini map, we have that little like temperature meter, and that fills up all the way. You get uh, the blood plague, and that um, your character is technically you can technically still use them, but they are are pretty much useless. They're super slow. Um, they can't do much, and you kind of just have to like. At that point, you you have to figure out how to cure them, or you got to get rid of them. Yeah, at the beginning it's pretty tough to cure them too, but I but the further along you get, um, not that it gets 
easier necessarily, but like mm -hmm. you're better equipped to uh, to handle it. Grim Outlaw says, why don't you guys talk more about the game you're playing? That's why people came to the stream. Absolutely, we'll talk about that. But if people also ask other questions. and mm -hmm. We've been so talking about it for a while, too, but we can continue. We what can do you want to know? What do you about? want us to talk about? Yeah, Talk so about whatever you want to talk about as long as it relates to the game. Uh, someone wants to know if I have split screen. I don't think so. No, no split screen. It's dead. Split screen's dead, unfortunately. Hey, they're bringing it back with Halo 6. And a way out. A way out does have a split screen. I like Split screen's really good in that one. I liked a way out, actually. Uh, despite its its uh, problems, it's like very obvious story problems. I actually still really enjoyed it quite a bit. Um. Where the f for my followers? <laughs> what are we doing? I can't think I'll play cart without the three of you who said you'd follow me. Someone says, "What kind of a zombie game is this?" So this is like a zombie survival. Uh, the the devs pitch it as like your zombie survivalist fantasy, and I'd say that's that's fairly accurate. It's yeah. it's very systems based. It's kind of there's not much of a story to it. It's more you do, you do you. You kind of like build your base, uh, expand out, like hunt supplies, um, deal with survivors, and I think that's like pretty cool. And that like I don't think many other zombie games have like really tried to tackle it quite this way. Mm -mm. Is it 60 FPS on the uh, the One X? No, it is not. Uh, unfortunately, it's probably 30. Uh, someone's asking about why is that not one single map? That is because uh, it's three maps that are like very different areas. So the idea is that you can like when you replay the game, uh, you can like start fresh in a different map and you get a completely different scenario. Scenario because the idea is that you're sort of meant to just like play the game. And then, uh, you know, like if you're like, oh, I want to start over, you can kind of start over and you'll have some more variety when you start over as opposed to just starting on the same map. Somebody said, wait, Halo 6 is going to have split screen co-op. Um, so they basically what they said is after Halo 5 came out, they went on record and said, hey, any future game, Halo game is going to have split screen. So that was that was something that they, they took that feedback uh, to heart. Of people complaining about that and said they promise the next Halo will have split screen. And don't make a promise you can't keep. Or what is it? Don't make a girl a promise you can't keep. If you know you can't keep it. Uh, I was close. I was close, John Luke. I love the finishing kills. Like the best is when you like step on their chest and like have a bat or whatever and just swing and knock their head off. Yeah. Uh, There's some good animations in this. Pretty satisfying. How big There's is also the some bad animations in this. Yeah. How big is the main map compared to the first game? Uh, well, there's no main map. Again, it's just three maps. Three maps, all about the same size. I would show you, except, you know, I would you know, say they're zombies. a little smaller than the, the first game. Well, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. I, I think it's a little smaller than the first yeah, game. Yeah. I'd say they're a slightly bit smaller than the first game. But obviously, all three maps quite bigger together and uh in case you weren't here earlier you can go to the other maps once you research so like if you see these symbols i can i can head to those other maps all right i'm gonna kill this stupid somebody says do other loader. players pose a threat to you like in gt online no so there's no other players you're playing with uh, there are other survivors though and depending on yeah. like whether or not you help them they might attack you like if you're here earlier i was trying to refuel my car and uh some of those survivors decided to shoot me. Uh, not to, like, I mean, you know, I think this game is great for what it is, but that's actually a pretty cool idea of having a open-ended zombie survival map where there's, like, other players also building a base, like, on the other side yeah. of the map, and you have to interact with them. Like, that actually sounds pretty cool. I wonder if that is something they... I imagine at some point they maybe thought of that. Um, and that's probably outside of the scope of, of this game. But I would like to see a game tackle that concept. That sounds kind of cool. It is. I don't, like, have any explosives. I wonder if the other survivors Dude, do. also, your uh, your crowbar is going to break. Already broke. Oh, cool. Yeah, I've been using my knife. The State of K2 console exclusive game. Yes, it is exclusive to Microsoft. They're publishing it. Uh, it is on PC, though, on the Windows Store. So if you have a PC and you want to play it... Our house is still very empty and not lived in. Um, no, the, there's, no they're, they're pretty good looking. Yeah, they're furnished and they look like there's some someone like picked up their stuff and ran or like turned into a zombie. Like, here, run one right now. You can take a look. Right. And and there are houses where you'll find other people, you know, other survivors. Kill that thing. So melee is <laughs> not the best way. <laughs> you're gonna but I don't have nice. anything. Oh, man. You're going to be here forever. Actually, you know what I should do? Let me check with them if I can buy. 
Dude, you're gonna get the the plague before you finish cutting that thing up. Someone says me... window store. Oh, oh they're boy. all attacking it. Yeah, the window store is. Let's go. Let's do this. Heck yeah, man. Oh, this is gonna. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I was not prepared for this. NPCs uh, do attack you. Yes, they do. Uh, someone wants to know, there was no aiming when throwing firebombs, grenades in State of K1. Do you have aiming in State of K2? Um, I don't think so. Say that, well, sorry, what was the question? They want to know if there, they said there was no aiming when you were throwing grenades in State of K1. They want to know if you can do that in, in this one. So you can like- No, there's your, no aiming. I don't think there is. I think it's the same. Thanks. Red Activist says, what is this thing? This is a plague heart. So this here creates the die. plague uh, zombies and you need to- uh, Normally you're better equipped than I am. You've got explosives. <laughs> yeah, you, I, need, you need to take these out. I should have chatted with them first because a lot of times you can uh, buy stuff from them. We you got it, it though. Oh wow! Okay. All right, let's get out of here, my dudes. Is there a cure for the plague in game? Yes, there is. All right. Who do I got to talk to? It was my pleasure. You know, you're probably How many neutral dead. and friendly enclaves you come across? A fair amount. Yeah. So yeah. So it depends. Um, like sometimes you'll meet one and they won't like you right away, but you can kind of earn their trust, or you might meet one that are friendly as is. And it just depends, like, how often you interact with them. Yeah, and uh, some characters actually have certain traits. Like, they're, um, you can have a character that's, like, a sweet talker. Mm -hmm. And that will, like, increase your chances of kind of, like, talking someone down and being more friendly with them. So if you do want to interact, it actually does benefit to check which uh, character you're bringing over. I think I need to get some, I need some food and meds. All right, let's see if we can get some food on the way back. This is the next thing I want to get. 2,000 power. Active Red says, love your channel. Keep the great work and don't stop what you're doing. Aww. Thank you. Thank you. Barbecue. Let's get some <laughs> barbecue, Jean-Luc. Immediately followed up by Cool Kid one who says, all the GameStop reviews are fucking rigged. <laughs> uh, well, I don't think GameStop does many reviews, but, uh, I mean, they're also selling their games, so, I mean, that is a yeah. conflict of interest, and it's kind of weird. Yeah, I, I wouldn't I'd trust GameStop's reviews yeah, either. Yeah, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't trust that. GameSpot, though, you know, if you're curious on whether or not you should buy this game, you should check it out. Check out the review, which goes live Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, there you go. Can you co-op online? Yes, you can. We can't right now. We're having some weird issues, but uh, you can totally co-op online. In fact, you can only co-op online. You can't. There's no split screen or anything like that. Does this game have modded weapons, like in Dead Rising? Uh, no, nothing like Dead Rising, where you're... Like duct taping chainsaws to each other or anything like that. Oh, birdie, you're almost dead. Should have got a car. The nose says, I've seen an enclave pretend to be friendly and ask for help finding food before ambushing the player when they arrived at their base. Yeah, I had an encounter like that early where someone's like, hey, man, these guys like stole my stuff. Can you help me get it back? And I was like, all right, I'll help. And oh, went, and then you followed them to their base? No, so I went to their base and I said, hey, uh, this person, you stole this person's food, like, can you just give it back, like, we, come on, let's play nice. And they were like, alright, fine, sure, we'll play nice. I grab the food, I start walking back, all of a sudden, they pull out a gun and shoot that person that asked me for help. Just kill him. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, god, and I, and then I kill those people, and then I had to go back to that other person's, uh, friend who was waiting back at their oh, base, and no. I had to tell them that they died. That's like, pretty cool. Yeah, they are like, oh, hey, you got the supplies back. Uh, where's Rachel? And I was like, uh, well, actually, she's dead. I'm sorry. And so I was like, hey, I feel bad. You can join my base if you want. And she's like, okay, I don't want to die alone out here. So I brought her back to my base. However, a few days later, I realized I actually had one person over. Uh, oh, and so I couldn't keep her. him. So I kicked her out and I said, hey, actually, it's not working out. Sorry. <laughs> it felt so bad. <laughs> So stuff like that, I think, is actually what makes this game really cool. Like th those kinds of moments. Come on, I need food. Are there jump scares? No, no, not really. I mean, maybe at night, like you could be going through a building and like a zombie could look dead, but it's not dead. Like that's happened, but like. Unless yeah. you're really not prepared for it, uh, you probably 
Well, yeah, nothing like that. The, the tension more comes just from, like, the overwhelming dread of zombie, the zombie horde. Yeah. I, I think the biggest scares in this game is when someone's close to death because it's permadeath, so it's like, I don't want this character to die. Right, you spend a lot of time on them. Uh, Come on, birdie. So we don't, I don't know this, but some people are saying that the game... That is oh, no, I uh, hate these things. Shit. I'll let you deal with that first. Oh, my God. Nice. Oh, got it. All right, that wasn't too bad. Uh, someone was saying that there is a tether distance in multiplayer. Yes, I think there is, because I remember when we were playing, I looked on the map, and there's, like, a circle. It's pretty big. Like, I, it took up, like, a quarter of the map. Okay. Yeah. If not, uh, maybe not that much, but it, it, it took up a good amount of the map, so it's not, like, keeping you in super close proximity. Uh, but, yeah, it, it is kind of annoying just knowing that there is a limit there is a there is a limit it's yeah. like you can't be like hey you check this town while i check this town and collect supplies it's you, you kind of have to stick together you but you both can hit a town and be like all right you start on this side and i'll start on this side yeah i imagine that's a weird uh hardware limitation but it's a bummer because there are some games that do let you kind of like more free roam like anywhere mm -hmm. you want and i i like when a game lets you do that i wonder if my partner is dead. He's almost dead. Oh, she dealt with that zombie. Should I shoot this zombie? No. Stab her. Are there any zombies that carry anything that could be looted? I don't think so. Uh, the only ones that do are the plague zombies. You can steal the plague. Uh, right, right. The plague samples. Which is how you make... Uh, cures. So, those are the only ones that drop stuff. Are the characters randomly generated? Ye uh, kind of. So, I know at the beginning, you get a certain amount of fixed characters, sort of for the tutorial. Um, however, their appearances are actually kind of random, which is interesting. Yeah, and I think their names and their stats are slightly different, too. Right. Uh, but, yeah, for the most part, it, it is randomly generated. Like, once you get out of the tutorial and you get into the open world, it seems to be all randomly generated. Game Informer is doing live four-player co-op on their channel if you want to see how online works. Hey, yeah, go for it. We can't get it to work right now, but if you want to see how it works, do it. We can try again. I can try one more time. I can send you another one. But I, I Survivor has the blood plague. Oh, it's probably Birdie. Birdie. My favorite Street Fighter character. Actually, not really, but... All right. Accept my hot invite. Please work. Be Mattingly. That's a weird name. It is. Failed again. Boo. All right, never mind. That's a bummer. Yeah. What's, what's a real bummer is every time we do this, we have to go through this loading screen. Also, loading times on Xbox One X. Not great. Kind of long. Longer than I'd want. God, this guy always complains that I'm hogging the supplies. Shut up, dude. Uh, Go get your own supplies. Do some work. Is there any recycling items in State of Decay 2, like destroying unwanted swords for materials? So, I believe you can take, like, broken guns and break them apart. Mm -hmm. I remember doing that. So, there is some level of recycling. I'm not sure how in-depth it is, but you can do a little bit. So this is something that's kind of annoying. So right now I crafted the blood plague cure because she has the blood. Oh, I guess I can just give it to her. See, so I can exile, I can euthanize her, or Damn. I can talk about something else. We're gonna administer cure. What happens if you euthanize? Do you just like blow their brains out? Like before <laughs> here's you the cure, and then it's not <laughs> the cure. Just it's kill just, it. It's just a gun. <laughs> Any tips on quickly gathering influence? Uh, do missions. That seems to be the best way. Yeah, those get you Do a missions, lot. taking out hordes and stuff like that. Build beds to improve morale. Don't we already have... Is the difference in the characters just aesthetic? No. So there are certain stats that characters have that uh, can affect things. Like some are like naturally born leaders. Some are like, you know, good at talking that are, are good for, you know, if you need to like interact with other enclaves or survivors. So there are actual stats. Can you look at that stuff? Do you mind pulling that up for a sec? What is it? Uh, people are asking if there's, like, differences for the characters apart from just visual. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Um, so yeah, you can see like traits. So they have they have traits, and that will kind of affect. You also have skills as well. And, yeah, and those so, you can like improve over time. Funny story about Mattingly is that I picked him to be my leader because he's active duty military, but he's a braggart. So I dropped morale a little bit because he was bragging to everyone that he was a leader. What a douche. Exactly. It's like, come on, a zombie apocalypse. There are better things where you are. But as you can see, so skills, they all have different sets of skills depending right. on. And you and see how he's got an empty slot. It means I can, if I have a book, I can teach him a new skill. Right. Um, and see how they're gold as opposed to hers. They're all white. Actually, I've got three I can upgrade. Um, you show gold means works. they've they've leveled up. Yeah, I'll switch to her. Because so you can, can actually, oh, she's almost um, dead. Once you level one up, you can kind of like pick two different branching paths for it that kind of tweak that skill. Yeah. So, which is actually pretty cool. I like fighting. That. So yeah, you choose a special striking or endurance. I always seem to do endurance, which increases uh, health. Slam attack unlocked. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Um. So this is kind of cool. Sharp shooting weapon handling, improved steadiness, bullet penetration, dismemberment, clear jam firearms, improved durability. Let's do that. Okay. And craftsmanship, construction or metalwork. Metalwork. Why not? So I want to know if there are any fuel efficient vehicles, or did they all run the same in terms of uh, MPG? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. But that's definitely the thing you got to keep an eye on is fuel. It's always good to keep a spare can of gas in the trunk of your car. So if you run out, you can always fill it back up and don't get stuck. I haven't been hurt at all yet. So if your car that's carrying a bunch of bags gets uh, gets destroyed, do you have to do all of your collected bags get ruined as well? I don't no. know. I don't I don't think your cars can get fully destroyed. Um okay. like cuz cuz I Maybe they can, maybe, but I think I've destroyed cars, but I've been able to repair them if, and flip them and stuff if I go there, but I haven't wanted to go back. Right. I haven't had uh, that situation happen, so I wouldn't know. Aiden has recovered from fatigue. Good to know. Uh, she already has a six-thing backpack, so we don't need that. We just need to give her if a gun. If you leave them after you get the blood plague and they turn into zombies, does the player who is playing that character control the zombie? I don't think so. No. I haven't tried that, though, but I, I, I imagine not. I have so many 9mm rounds, but I don't have a 9mm gun. Uh, Maxine says, but if you always kill everyone, there must be tons of playable characters, right? Yes, I mean, anyone you recruit into your... Uh, Community can become a playable character, so there's always more people you can recruit, which is kind of what I like about this game is that things can go really bad, but you can always, it never seems to get to a state where it never gets to like a state of decay. <laughs> All right, I'm leaving this stream <laughs> now. Uh, <laughs> it never gets to a point where I feel like I would want to completely restart. Like maybe you can push it to that point, but uh, I feel like you can always at least like recover from from the damage, get more people back, rebuild. All right. Got uh, an did you put did you put a silencer on that gun? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Someone earlier was asking about like mods for weapons like silencers. So yeah, can do that. Mattingly, no, not you, Kevin. Mattingly, where are you? You're coming Some with me. Some of our me. building materials got wet. They're kind of ruined now. I hate that. I had a random thing. I really hate that. I like, had one where uh, a woman's like, oh, hey, I'm really sorry. I accidentally knocked over one of our gas cans, so we don't have as much gas now. And I was like, I'm going to kick you out it's of like, our, the group. I, I I understand why they're there, Just like, but, it, but it's like after a while, it's like, can I train my people to not be dumb, clumsy? Yeah, it's, it's nice to have a little bit of the random chaos thrown in. You kind of want that, but... Hey, look at this stupid zombie. doesn't realize the gate's open on the other Do you still side. become encumbered? I mean, there is a limit to how much you can carry. Where's where's Mattingly? You're coming with me, so people can't hear you brag. Is there difficulty settings? No. Uh, I don't think so. Mm -mm. I, I checked. I was going to do a video on this, like, hardest difficulty and stuff, maxed out, um, but... Not a thing. Where's stupid Mattingly? Kevin, get out of here, dude. 
There's an infestate. Oh, they're all outside. Is that him? No, that's Daniel. There he is. Stop running. Good to see you. Can't enlist this follower? Yeah, uh, you already have one. You can only have one at, a, at a time. So tell Kevin, Kevin to go away. Beat it. Got a moment? Come with me. Do characters always obnoxiously holster their guns immediately after aiming? I guess. Yes. Seems like it. Yep. I mean, you're going to use your melee weapons more, so that might be a good Chris thing. says Xbox 30 uh, FPS, PC 60 FPS crossplay. Yes, there is crossplay. Jeff Morris says the voice acting and lines aren't very good in my opinion. I don't think it's it's uh, acceptable. It works. I mean, they're not fantastic, but it's fine for what it's it fine. is. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I, it I'm is. not playing this game because I want, like, you know, high quality cinematic character development. Because if you're hoping for character de development, apart from, like, what you put into a character, there's not really much. Right. It's more kind of what you put in and the stories you come up with. Love that animation. That's great. It's a game out already. Uh, oh, it's almost like crouched. a pre-order early pack. No, so we just have the game a little bit early. If you pre-order it, you'll get access to it early on the 17th, I think. Um, and then the actual game comes out on the 22nd. Dang it. So he says Xbox One X is 60 frames a second 4K. I don't know if it is because I'm running it on the X and it does not run at 30. Oh, stop moving. All right. Uh oh, oh, he that sees me. See you. I don't really use the dodge as much as I should. It's pretty useful. It, it drains stamina so much, though. There is a stat you can do to um, decrease it from draining as much. Can you repair weapons? I, I think you can. I, think I don't so. know how, though. I is need this to. on PC? Yes, we're playing it on PC right now. Stop yelling. Um, Le Shark says greetings from England, by the way. Thank you. All right, where's my buddy? What resolution is this game? It looks very 360-ish. Uh, we're playing it on PC, and we're running it by 1080. at 1080p. Uh, as far as console uh, resolution, internal resolution, I wouldn't know. I imagine uh, the good people over at Digital Foundry will have that breakdown at some point soon. I hope so. I'd be um, curious. Those are the guys I always go to whenever I want to know that kind of stuff. They do a good job. Okay. Let's see if we can find some food, maybe some more medical supplies. Oh, dang it. Someone says, I do think the graphics aren't too much better than the first, though it is really. Uh, yeah. It, so you look at this and you're, you're going to be like, oh, this, this looks okay. But, yeah, I mean, if you look at them side by side, you're, you are going to realize it is actually, like, a lot better. Um, but I don't know. Like, I don't, this game doesn't need to be, like, a technical powerhouse for me. It, it's, it's also 30 bucks too. It's a $30 game. It's more about the mechanics and the systems. I think it's uh, it looks fine for, for what it is, for what it's going for. Oh, I got a pack of cheese slices. Nothing better than a pack of cheese slices. Somebody said, uh, they're confused. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, sorry if I confused you. I was mentioning how I have played it on Xbox. Right now we're playing it on PC. Can you shoot your fellow survivors in the face if they annoy you? Uh, oh, can you just shoot Mattingly over there if you want? Like in the head? I'll end the stream with me shooting Mattingly. <laughs> You're okay with that? Yeah. He's, uh, he's a braggart, you know? I, I, no, I don't want to shoot Mattingly. He's your leader, though. What He's like my the, highest level dude too. The amount of anarchy that'll create. You just you just cap the the group leader right then and there. Well, I'll take him out. Oh, I see. I don't know where he's not doing his job. I told him to come with me. Where is he? No one knows. You want to know why? Because he's a coward. Uh, 
I don't know if I missed a conversation, but someone says cheese slices are a gross American uh, invention. Hey, cheese slices are, are wonderful. I'm not sold on cheese slices. Uh, actually, I'm kind of whatever on cheese slices. Well, it depends. I think cheese slices are very useful for specific things. You want a good grilled cheese sandwich? Cheese slices yeah. are great for that. Can't go wrong with cheese slice on a burger. Stupid propane. I don't want propane. Should I take it, though? Jugs of ethanol. Fearless places. Fine. If you get all the loop in one map, does it replenish? So, I don't think so, right? Um, I'm not sure. I haven't played enough to know. Kevin Lewis says, is the beta going on right now? I, I know nothing about any beta. We're, don't we think there's a beta. We have the game, which is why we're playing. Just says, buy some real cheese blocks and cut that up for your burger. Yeah, I've done that before. But, you know, hey, man, sometimes you don't got time for that. You just you just need a ready-to-go cheese slice. Actually, you know what? I wonder if I can upgrade my bar and grill. I guess there was a, a closed beta at some point, but that has ended. So. Uh, okay, okay. So, no. no. No beta right now. We're just playing the full game. Oh. Uh, are all buildings open to explore, and are there duplicates? Yes, you can pretty much explore every building in the game. I, I think there are duplicates, but I haven't, like, played enough to find them yet. Right. There's a, um, there seems like to they, be a really good variety. A lot definitely looks similar, but... Are the controls clunky like the first game? Not as clunky as the first game. No, but I, definitely better. I'd say they're still a bit clunky at yeah. times. The menus are a little clunky. I never finished searching the fire department. That'd be a good one to do. Pump house and a vehicle bay. Yeah, we'll go to the fire department again. Kevin Lewis says there was supposed to be a beta for PC. Uh, I, unfortunately, I don't know much about that, so I don't know if they ended up canceling that or if there was a beta, but you already missed it. Dang it. What type of cheese are cheese slices? American. American. Usually. I mean, yeah, the ones we're thinking of are, are American cheese. But they're not actually cheese <laughs> yeah it's like that process plasticky cheese stuff your craft we're, we're we're talking cheese slices we're talking craft some craft singles oh she's got first aid kit i'm full on stuff though okay well i'm gonna keep looking can you throw we melee weapons like in far cry not that i'm aware of yeah i'm not opening that if i can go in through the garage please now everyone's just talking about cheese What's your favorite cheese? Pepper Jack. Pepper Jack's good. Big fan of Pepper Jack. Yeah. Oh no. That's oh a, no. That's a good go-to on a sandwich. I cannot kill this thing without a firearm. Otherwise, it's going to explode. And I'm going to get sick. Too bad Mattingly's not here to shoot at his one job. Where did that boy run off to? I don't know. He's supposed to come with me. He's probably still in the garden. He's probably like stuck on a wall or something. Ugh. Dylan Scott wants to know if this requires Xbox Live. So, not to play single player, I would assume co-op would require Xbox the way most games require uh, Xbox for online, but I, I wouldn't know. Oh, no, I can't take them. Do zombies respawn? Yes, they do. So zombies never go away fully. You can't, like, clear a town of zombies. Which is kind of a bummer. Yeah. I, I kind of wish if you took out plague hearts and cleared infestations, like, they would... Like, so there is an objective for, for taking out all the plague hearts. Yeah. Like, there so I think that'll get rid out. of the plague ones. Right. But I don't think it gets rid of all zombies. Fearless places. I'm curious what happens if we loot all of the guns in the map and then lose them. Yeah, right. Like I, I don't know how this game works as far as what happens when you loot everything. I've never gotten to a point. Like I never did that in the first day decay. I never played that much, and I probably won't end up playing that much of this one where I'll get to that point because that's a lot. But yeah, I'm kind of curious, like how the end of that game works like that if you if you get that far in. Yeah, I'd be curious too. 
fucking plague heart? This town ain't safe. Yeah, see? yeah so see, that's kind of what he's saying. Like, gotta destroy all the plague hearts. Can you play multiplayer? You can. Uh, we were trying to. We were having issues. What's with your partner's not following you? Seems like a bad glitch so soon before launch. Yeah, there's been a couple of, of uh, buggy stuff. Nothing too bad. But, uh, I, so I don't know if there is a day one patch. I would assume there will probably be one. Um, so I can't really say anything on, on as far as like what it'll be like at launch. But it's been, been a couple couple glitches so far. All right. I might retire Mattingly if he doesn't show up. Coward. <laughs> Coward. Isn't he supposed to be your fearless leader? He's my leader, and I want to kick him to the curb. You should kill him. You should shoot him in the face. I want to see it. Is the story cowering somehow... in here? You son of a... Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. That didn't do anything. Nice you, <laughs> Cannot <in> this... <laughs> Is it, though? I just shot you in the head. I can't enlist him as a follower. What if you said, nice to see you again, then he pulls out a gun and shoots you? Are you my... I cannot enlist you as a follower. Is this digital only? I think they have a physical version I wonder if selling. he still thinks cannot enlist as I would, a I don't know, though. Can you name slash rename bases and outposts? I don't think so. So, I'm hoping we can get to 2,000... Uh, uh, Whatever it's called, it's influence. So I can get. There's a power plant down here that I've been wanting to get, but I need two thousand. We're almost there. Uh, is this PC or Xbox? This is this PC? Bullets are the only cure. Kind of like that. Well, that's our motto. I mean, I tried to cure Mattingly. Didn't work though, so maybe not. Tried to. Keep Cure him of his insubordination. Keep an eye on that guy. I don't trust him. All right. Where's that bloater thing? Not Spencer here. says, can't wait for this. What date does it launch? launches on the 22nd, next Tuesday. All right. Cool. Some fuel. One thing I miss in the original is that you could have, like, you could call in some other survivors to, like, loot a place for you. Yeah, they don't do and that. And you can't one. do it in this, which is like kind of an issue. Like if you hit like a bunch of stuff and you don't have the oh, space for it. Yeah. Yeah. The other issue is is um, when you have a survivor with you, you can't make them, w or when you have another person following you, you can't make them pick yeah. up a, ru a, a rucksack. Which so what you would have to do is you'd have to switch to that character. But you can only switch. You can't switch it anytime you want. They have to be, in. You have to be in a safe area. Yeah, and not only that, you can't. Uh, if you're doing a quest, you can't switch. Yeah. Oh, you're, yeah, because it'll 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 cancel so you've the ruined quest. the quest. Yeah, the whole quest will be ruined, even though you just switched character. It's stuff like that's a little frustrating, because you're just like, I just want this person to pick up this stuff for me. Yeah. Fresh um, off the street says, "Hey, for the potato vids, do Skyrim, please." Well, we already did. <laughs> we already did. It went up on Friday. You're in luck. Oh my god, that is horrifying. Uh, uh, someone's saying, I've seen some place your character may have asthma and can't run. What's up with that? I have not encountered that yet. That sounds kind of cool, though. Oh, like a, like a, like a trait? Like one of the traits is they oh, have that's, asthma and they can't run. Cool. Yeah. I saw someone else, I don't know if it was the same person or someone else also mentioned that. So that, if that's true, that's pretty cool. Zombies get harder at night. Yes, they do. Is there a story mode in this game? I mean, this is the story mode. It's it's a light story. Yeah. It's more like... Normally, I like I prefer having stories in games, but like it makes sense not to have one because this is supposed to be kind of like create your own stories with like the systems that are here. So it says you can make guest characters carry your uh, rucksacks, though. That is true. Can you upgrade to search faster? I don't think you can upgrade to search faster. You can hold the button to search faster, but that makes more noise, which will attract zombies. So there's that trade-off. All right, we're gonna hightail it back. I didn't search everything here, but you know you can't can't win them all. Come on, Santos. How long is the day night cycle? I'm not sure. Uh, I can tell you one thing: day is too short, night's too long. <laughs> Fair enough. 
Mostly because you can't skip, though. Alright, up the cardio. There we go. I got some fuel, except I don't need fuel. <laughs> what I need is meds. I, I have... So, this is also kind of frustrating, is that I have a hospital. I have a hospital as one of my outposts. That seems pretty and good. I'm still short on meds. Okay. Like, I, unless that hospital's been completely ransacked before you got there. But, uh, I mean... I'm supposed to get daily med collection from it, and I feel like I don't get any. Like I get, I'm Weird. willing to bet that's what everyone's complaining about. Available beds? We need more beds. Deep Pack says for potato vids, can you do The Witcher Three? Uh, actually, well, I don't know. I have a feeling that'll happen eventually. When I don't know. I'm gonna have to ask. You can you can hit up Joey Yee on Twitter. Uh, I actually know when, when that one will be happening. Oh. All right then. I know I know the deets. Uh but yeah. Look forward to that soon. Uh what else can I upgrade with my base? Uh here? I don't know, a couple people have been asking about zombie uh, screen limit. Do you know if there's a limit how many zombies on the screen? Uh I can't say. Uh yeah, I don't know. I've been attacked by a lot at one point. Yeah, as far as the like specific number, I have no idea. So I really need to find meds. It's certainly not dead rising levels of zombies on no. screen or anything like that, if that's what you're expecting. Or days gone. Or days gone. <laughs> did you check that out? They uh, they had posted like an hour. Of yeah, the, uh, Game Informer hour did. Game Informer. I actually watched uh, a good chunk of that. It uh, Yeah, I watched a bit of it. It seems, it, it seems a lot like Horizon, but like... Yeah, there, there were a couple things I kind of liked from... From the story stuff that they were doing, yeah. So like, like there's that character you could like let live or kill or whatever. Yeah, they, they have a couple moments like that. I kind of liked the the tone where it was like it's it's like a apocalypse, but there still seemed to be like a, a decent like society to it. Like like people are are, are still tr sort of trying to live normal lives to some degree. Yeah, it, it was kind of interesting. At least from what I could tell from that first hour. Uh, Definitely interested in it. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious about that game. Look at that thing. It's punching the ground. What an idiot. Yeah, well, keep punching the, the ground. Before it's actually out. Because we have uh, the game early and we can show it off. So. Someone wants to know what potato vids are. Oh, yeah. So I guess for those who don't know, uh, Joey Yi does a, a series called Potato Mode where he plays... Uh, takes some really nice looking uh, video games and then uh, makes them look like some garbage. Look really, really bad with some video graphic magic. And it's really funny. And you should check those out. They're really, really good. We've done a bunch of them. We did one on Far Cry, Battlefront, Doom. Uh, we just did one on Skyrim. Oh, I don't need more don't need more i need i need meds jean-luc i need meds the 905 guy wants to know how badly does mike mahardy smell on his bad days <laughs> really bad <laughs> uh it's just the worst like you can't you can't even you basically have to like go to the other side of the office and and i'm and i'm just talking about his good good days too so yeah don't want to know what the bad days are like He claims he showers every day. I don't believe him. No. Mm. We're missing two. We are missing two. Somebody says, man, I love a zombie game like this, but with some parkour animations. So, like, State Decay has the parkour animations, but it doesn't have the full-on survival mechanics the way this one does. So, somewhere in between, there's probably a really, uh, the game you're looking for. Wait, st you mean Dying Light? Sorry, Dying Light. If I said I was like, wait a second. If I said State Decay, yeah. wrong. Yeah, sorry. Dying Light. Yeah, Dying Light has the parkour. This game's got the survival stuff. If you refuse those together, that's probably the game you'd be looking for. All right, I guess we'll leave this place. I need medicine. Can friendly NPCs shoot guns when out on missions? They couldn't Corner in the pharmacy. first one. Yeah, they totally can. Yeah, I've seen I've seen NPCs shoot guns. Although I do wonder 
if they're wasting ammo when they do that. Like, if that takes out yeah. your bullets. I got, yeah, a little, yeah. I got a little nervous about that. They were, like, shooting their shotgun. I was like, don't, don't waste that. I need that for later. Oh, man. E3, less than a month away. Is it stressful for you guys? It's Not get, yet. Yeah, it's It'll be there. soon. It's... It's definitely stressful on the like higher, the like the the organize the people who are organizing it for us like our our stuff. That's it's probably pretty stressful for them right now because they're like knee deep in that. We're not at that point yet. Give it a couple weeks and it'll start to get stressful for us. I'll tell you one thing though, mm -hmm. I think this is going to be one of the best E threes ever. I think it's going to be a really interesting E three. I think it is going. Sorry, I think it's going to be the best E three. Really? Yep. Oh wow, that's a bold prediction. I think, uh, like, based on like some of the leaks too. Like, even if those leaks aren't true, I still think it's gonna be really good. What would you pre say is the previous best E3? Uh, 2015 was really good. Was 2015 the one with the Sony, the Killer Sony press conference? Yeah, 2015 was with the Killer Sony press conference, and it was Fallout 4. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was the Fallout Four, and then that was the one where they're like Kingdom Hearts, uh, Final Fantasy remake, Horizon. Like they announced like everything, right? Yeah, yeah. That was a good. Yes, that was a really good. E3. That was probably the best E three, um, in a while, that I remember. Yeah, I mean to be fair, I don't remember. Like I I've been tuning into E three for. I don't know, probably a decade, and they all kind of blend together. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think the first one I watched was 2006, 2007. Because I remember it was the one where they showed the. Uh, it was 2006, because I remember the first E3 I ever watched was the one where they showed the Halo 3 reveal trailer. I remember that. And that was such a. Dun, dun, dun. Such a good trailer. Dun, dun. This is the way the world ends. Ugh. Halo 3 uh, Yeah, is, that sent chills down my spine. Yeah, Halo, 3, Halo 3 had great marketing. <laughs> yeah. I'm not usually one who's like going to praise like a marketing campaign, but Halo 3 had some really good like marketing stuff. Lucifer said it would be best E3 if Resident Evil uh, 2 Remake gets a trailer. Yeah, I'm really hoping. Yeah. I uh, That doesn't seem like something that would happen on a stage, though. I could like, see... Maybe, maybe could Microsoft see will be like... Or I, Sony, like I a super Sony. quick trailer. Um, I would hope so because I mean we know it's in development. It's been a it's been a couple of years. They were kind of teasing something around the anniversary, the twentieth anniversary of Resident Evil Two, but then nothing happened. Uh, so I feel like it has to happen at E three. I just who knows. My dream, which has been rumored and leaked a couple times now, is uh, for is that zombie just run. Is that Mattingly? You idiot, <laughs> Mattingly. <laughs> Uh, Splinter Cell. Yes. It's been leaked yeah. twice now on different retailers. I think it has to happen. Like, I am 95% sure that it has to happen. Uh, somebody said Randy Pitchford confirmed that Borderlands 3 won't be at E3. Man, I didn't hear that, but that's a bummer if that's true, because I was actually really hoping for Borderlands 3 finally to get announced. Um, I've been kind of waiting for that one for a while. He's been talking about it for a while been talking like, about for a while shares stuff about it all the time it's like here's like here's a tech demo here's this and it's just like what are you just gonna announce the game and i think that was one of the games in that walmart leak yeah um and that walmart leak seemed super sketch where like half of it seemed legit and half of it seemed totally wrong yeah like um the uh, forza horizon 5 even though they haven't made four yet, like that one, you're just like, okay, well, that's yeah. obviously wrong. Well, also another thing too with 2K is 2K doesn't have a press conference. I feel like we don't typically see 2K or take two games at E3. I mean, like the big one is Rockstar, obviously. They never show their stuff at E3. Although, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a little bit of Red Dead. At I, E3. I would hope so. Um, and then there's that, uh, that Rage 2. Uh, supposed of announcement. That was one of the leaks. Yeah, the, the, did you see the trailer this morning? Oh, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't it's, seen it it's like a teaser for a gameplay trailer that's coming tomorrow. It's okay. pretty cool. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, cause they've been having all those those images with the, with like 514. So yeah. it's like, oh, we're supposed to get a thing today. And it seemed very obviously uh, Rage 2. And so. then I, I also think Bethesda Game Studios is going to have a game. Um, yeah, that's our, our bold prediction. I, I really hope they do. Um, 
because it's been three years since Fallout. Yeah, and, and they've been working on this that this rumored sci-fi game for a for while. while. So I, I think it's time. Right? Starfield. I I have a feeling it'll be called something different. Yeah, that's. I think that's um like a code name. Yeah. I don't think that's gonna be the actual name of the game. Um, yeah. So so I I have a feeling we'll get worldwide gameplay reveal tomorrow. I think that's kind of weird because they had all those uh pictures saying like yo like five fourteen right. And mm-hmm. then, like, on 514, they're like, here's a teaser, gameplay tomorrow. It's like, why not just show it today? Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. I Maybe just to announce it. I know. I think that's weird. I, like, it, I, uh, that's, that's the thing in marketing that bothers me of, like, you already were hyping people for today only to give a thing saying, like, and we'll show it tomorrow. Like, yeah. why? Like, why? And just show it today. It's really weird. Um... What do you think? I think we can call it around here. I, I'm, yeah. I'm just trying to find meds, and I don't. I think, think we're that's pretty good. I mean, we're 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 obviously talking about E3 at this point. Yeah, uh, we're not getting much. It seems like we're ready to wrap this up. So yeah, that was State of Decay 2. Sorry we couldn't show any multiplayer. Uh, having weird issues trying to connect. It seems like other people are able to get in. So I'm not sure if that's something on, on the game's end, end or our end. This room gets weird with. Uh, online connectivity, so who knows? But that is State of K two. Like we said, the review is going to go up Thursday, uh, so look forward to Alessandro Barbosa's review of that. And is there anything you want to pimp? I think we put up a feature this morning, right? Uh, the God of War one go up, or is that one still? The God of War, the God of War one went up on the weekend on site, and it's up on YouTube. Should be up on YouTube today. Okay, we have a State of K feature. Yeah, State of Decay, the biggest changes, if you want to check that out. Yeah, if you're, uh, if you're curious about that. And then I have a big Skyrim feature that I put up over Ooh, the weekend. That's, that's hot. Doing hot. Blowing yeah. up. So check that out. And then also Skyrim Potato Mode, which someone was asking about. Yeah, someone was there. asking about that. We have that up. So we got tons of good stuff up, tons of great stuff coming up later in the week. So stick around for that and see you guys next time. See ya.